We're going to replace this old timber frame door and window with this aluminium frame. Now that involves removing this brick section here. That's right, and we're going to do it using this brilliant WA made saw. It cuts through the brick like you wouldn't believe. You ready, Dean? Absolutely. Okay. Just move this across. And we'll just mark that. We begin by marking the cut. It's really important when you're using any power equipment that you have the right safety gear. Gloves, masks for dust, all important glasses because you don't affect your eyes, and um, ear plugs. You got those in, Dean? Dean? They work. Uh, why don't you start? Yeah. Okay. It's a good idea to lay a ground sheet to protect the wooden deck from the mess that we will undoubtedly create. The all saw with the wood cutting blades is perfect for cutting through the old wooden frame. Then out comes the small window and the remaining frame. So now what we're going to do is cut down the wall using our all saw and uh, get rid of it. You are right, Dean? Yep. Let's go. We remove the old brick sill. It comes away fairly easily with just a few taps from our trusty sledgehammer. Our WA made all saw is perfect for this job. It gives a good straight cut with relatively little effort and unlike angle grinders, it doesn't throw out much dust. It should be fairly loose. We've cut right through the first leaf and the bricks break away leaving a very clean finish. We then cut the inner leaf. The brilliant cutting action of the all saw makes the job very easy. The remaining bricks come out with just a few taps and we end up with a very clean cut on the inner and outer walls. It's a beautiful clean cut, Dean. We then remove the rest of the door frame and add some concrete to extend the old sill so that it runs the full length of the new frame. We drive some treated pine mounting blocks into the wall cavity. These will provide secure mounting positions for the frame screws. When installing this kind of window, it's important to follow the manufacturer's instructions. We then fit the fixed glass panel into position and screw in the locator plugs at the bottom and top. Great. Yep, runs beautifully. Well, there it is. All we've got to do is finish off the trim inside and put the handle on. And it looks fantastic. And it was pretty simple too. It was. Cup of tea time. Good idea. I think uh, so. It's the, uh, this one. Yeah, I reckon. Mm -hmm.